the use of cash was from the safe was used predominantly for illegal activities. In short, bribes, as you've described it. Correct. The use of the grey security bags was used to pack the cash in that was used for bribes. How often would uh, the safe need to be refilled? The intervals are weekly. So what would happen is on a Monday, Greg Lack and Allen would send a message. What is the order of chicken for today? We would then say, well, we need to check with Gavin. And we'd check with Gavin and then let him know what the order would be. That's 100,000 rand. Uh, tell us how you can tell. <laughs> because I used oh, you did a lot of these. <laughs> it was part of my job. Mm. Um, in the one hand, you'll see there's three elastic bands, um, small elastic bands there. Then there's one, two, three lead piles. Mm. Then you've got two smaller five piles of 5,000 rand each. A mm. pile would contain 10,000, mm. and we would pack as a rule five together with one elastic band around it. Mm. If you have a look there, the elastic band is around it on the bottom one. On the top one, the elastic band has actually come loose. If this was a full pack, there's 100, that there is 200,000. That's 50, that there is 100, and that there in total is 200,000. Okay? So it's yes. two, four, six, and I can see up to eight. I don't know where they packed out the 200, but that's how you can calculate it. The keys for the actual safes were held by Gavin Watson and him alone. That's why there was a drop safe. Yes, because if yes. there was sometimes there was too much money yeah. to fit into the normal safe yes. um, in the secretary's vault. Yes. You know, five million rand in 100 rand or 200 rand notes is a lot of money. Yes. We'd have to then try and just get it, get it into the safe. Yes.